Please, Please note that this meeting is being made available to the public through an audio recording which will be used to ensure an accurate record of proceedings produced in the minutes of the meeting. All comments made in open session will be recorded. Uh, we have a notice of public, uh, I'll read the notice of public hearing. Uh, notice is hereby given that the planning board will hold a public hearing on Monday, August 8th at 7 p.m. in the planning board room, Town Hall, Pembroke, Mass, 02359 on the application of J.C. Pembroke, LLC, care of James Costello, 38 Parish Farms Road, East Bridgewater, Mass, 02333, requesting site plan approval under the zoning bylaws of the town of Pembroke, section 57. Site plan approval for additional patio space next to the deck with a fire pit with additional seating. The property is located in a business district A, zoning district located at 300 Center Street, Pembroke, Mass, 02359, as shown as the assessor's map C7125, as advertised in the Pembroke Mariner Express on Friday, July 22nd, 2016, and Friday, July 29th, 2016. Um, since the uh, principals aren't here, should we make a motion to postpone? I mean, uh, I, move, uh, I move that we adjourn for 10 minutes. Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any yeah, other business we can take up? But we could talk, we can do the minutes and correspondence, which is the Selson Way, the tree. Um, I guess which means locating, figuring out which tree it is, if it's one of the new ones that was put in or one of the old ones. Um, I didn't see anything in there. What's that? Uh, there's a tree up on Selson Way. Is, I guess DPW pointed out that a tree has died. Or I, I will take a ride up tomorrow and verify that. For Dandel? For Dandel. Okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> I, think, I got the impression it was one of the new ones. Well, we'll, uh, we'll find out, Matt. We, we'll be uh, responsible for it. I, I also, besides being a plan to remember, I also work for Dandel. Okay. <clears throat> Any of that guaranteed to work, so. Yeah. <coughs> okay, so that so that will take care of that. There's bills going around. If you guys can sign on that green thing. Can I ask a question about um, uh, the town center in the um, Smith property? Uh, yeah. Did we allow equipment up front in our special permit? Yeah, but how's it going to load it if you don't allow it up there? Not for display. <laughs> he's not selling heavy That's, equipment? No, when I went by the staff door, there was nothing up front. There wasn't? Okay, because when oh, I was ready, there was. Are you here for the public hearing? Hi. Uh, for the restaurant? Yeah. 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 We're, we're adjourning for 10 minutes. We're waiting for them to show up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are you sitting here or are you yeah. going outside? Well, you can sit there. Yeah, this is it. <clears throat> Yeah, the problem is, is that that front becomes a working space. <coughs> it's not. <coughs> uh, I didn't think they were supposed to be storing equipment. Yeah, for mm. No, but the problem is, is that in the course of the day, early in the morning, truck pulls up, another truck pulls up. They're not going to keep moving that piece of equipment out yeah. back. They're going to keep it there. Yeah. It's going to be a little consumer walk-in type thing and you park up front and you get a couple of plans yeah. and you get, no, what you permitted was a landscape operation, but end of the story. Just, get all the things you get with it. I'm curious as to how successful he's been with those piles of the stuff. That's his problem. Don't forget, he didn't buy the one. This season's gone by. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> he's trying to get the fall. the fall season. Oh, well, he's going to get to next spring. Yeah. If you don't mind, it's right now. Your name. Well, it doesn't help if there's a construction zone all up and down the East Street, yeah. which doesn't help. All right. Uh, we can also, I guess, we can move this uh, vote to appoint representative exactly. to long-term revenue and growth subcommittee that 815. Um, which I think so I, it, I, are there two things with this thing? One is the, the request for uh, 
three-year plan right. that's going to be discussed at a one-on-one -on -one meeting at, to be determined. And who's going to attend it? I would assume you are going to attend I guess so. I wasn't planning on preparing a three-year operational plan or a five-year capital plan. Well, well, that was wait, 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 wait. that was that was sent around to departments that actually have three um, and five three, year capital. Yeah, yeah, yeah capital. Like PPW. This is not really uh, uh, for us. Well, do we need to ask? You know, for example, if we ever hope in the next three years to get a computer or printer, do we have to speak now? I don't think you need. I don't. I don't think you. I think that's. I think that's. Might be a good time. Yeah, but I think we bring up in our annual budget. Unless you want to go for council, I mean, if you want to bring up having. That's not capital. It is if you if you're going to set up an annual account. It's it's looking towards how do you do it. All right, because yeah. we've we'll, we'll gone before this before we right. shot down. So I mean, yeah. that would be one thing because we don't really have a budget, and no. the annual budget for for material is like twelve hundred bucks. Yeah, it's not much, and advertising is the other big piece of the budget. Right. But um, what about something? Just thinking from a capital standpoint, um, one thing you we may want to consider is all these files getting scanned and stored properly. Um, for well, quick for quick lookup, I mean that would be a capital. Wait a minute, wait a minute. First off, when I put back to the master plan, that we're talking about needing funding for. Yeah, that may be the other thing. That may be another thing too. Yeah, and I think that. And maybe some. Well, this is good. We've got numerous ideas here. Let's write them all down and send them up to the chief. We talked about you know <laughs> a planner position. Yeah, and some of those capital. I, I'm not sure that that's capital, but. Well, no, it's also a three-year operational budget. Okay. And I'm sure if something like a computer falls in the capital or operation. I think that's I think that sounds like capital to me, or a project that would scan everything and store it for us sounds like a capital expense. To me. It's a one time, yeah. yeah. I think you will get who knows, I, but I do know when it came out to the uh, to all the departments that have you know actually have manpower and things like that. Well, I wonder know. if there's any grants out there. For planning boards to, um, you know, scan and store files for, you know, su existing subdivisions. I wonder if it's worth peeking around and see if there's any money out there for that kind of project. You want to be asking this so. stuff on disk anyway? We do. We've always asked for stuff on disk anyway. We just never had anything to do anything with it. We've never had a computer we could load it onto right. or be able to view it. The assessor's office does, though, and I think the DBW might. With third party cloud storage or something that would yeah. give us the opportunity to access it. Well, even if we got a scanner, so we start in the very near future, everything that comes in that we scan it and store it that way versus in files, it would at least stop the files getting bigger. Yeah, because the letters we still get in hard copy form, we don't get those electronically for the most part. We can't scan Except our own. that we have. It would be an enormous undertaking. I'm not sure what it is. Well, <laughs> I mean, in order to do everything, yes, but going forward, won't that machine scan? I, I think I think we I'm need an assessment of an assessment. I think it <laughs> probably does. I'm not sure. Yeah, All right, they have little So scan. it's time to um, reopen the public oh. hearing. Um, and we don't have our applicant here. We do not have our applicant here, which I've never had this happen before, so I'm not really have sure. Have they decided? Did they contact? motion to continue the public uh, hearing for two weeks until our next meeting. All right. So we have a motion to continue. Yeah, we do. Um, uh, I we guess want my, only, my only question is this: the applicant's not here, but the abutters are. And is there any? Um, Really anything to precedent for asking the abutters to express any opinions about the project before we continue the public hearing? No. So that they don't have to come back? But as much as I... I We're not holding a public hearing. Well, it's open. Well, it's open. We have a public hearing yeah, the way but as right. much as I don't want to but as much as missing an applicant, <laughs> I know. But as much as I hate to waste the abutters... Uh, the uh, abutters to keep Yeah, the, uh, the abutters' time, which, right. you know, I, on behalf of the applicant, I apologize for um, no one, there's no one to answer their questions. Right. Or so, our questions. Or our questions. And we can't penalize them because they're not here. Yeah. So, right. Yeah. So all we have in action to do <laughs> is to continue a public hearing. Okay. If they choose not in the future to not come again, yeah. 
two yeah. weeks <laughs> at a time certain. Eventually, we will say uh, you don't have a site plan approval, building inspector, etc. Cease and desist any continued uh, permitting, and uh, on we move. Do you think they were confused by getting the selectman's approval of the of the liquor and, and other permits that they didn't think they had? I would to hope come not, um, Mr. Chairman. Do we have anything scheduled for two weeks from today? Uh, that we do not. At 7 p.m. or a date or a time certain? Matt, do we have anything on the schedule? <coughs> I don't think there is an agenda yet for two no. weeks. Okay. I'll so make motion, as I said, to continue the public hearing until which date, Matt? It would be the 22nd. 22nd of August. What time? Seven o'clock p.m. Okay. I apologize to you folks. Um, so we have a first. We have a motion and second. second. Yeah. Yep. So we'll be so hearing this again on April August twenty second at seven p.m. Seven p.m. Yep. All right. All in favor? Aye. All right. All right. All right. Well, you know, oh, sorry. Sorry about that. About that. <laughs> you know, in the future, maybe maybe liquor license and things shouldn't be given out until there's approval of the site plan. Well, yeah. that is common sense, Bob. For a selected mm -hmm. decision. All right, yeah, so no. we... Maybe they should run a rotting stuff that everything's all set. For liquor license. Yeah, because yeah. really, it could be a board pro issue and they mm -hmm. give out a liquor license. It sends the wrong message, doesn't it? Did you ask George if he's had any contact with him about this? Yeah, I just saw him leave. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Now he was leaving just as we oh, came in. Okay. Just in What? You were here for the for the bar, yes. Olive, Old Oliveras? Yes. So we just continued it for two weeks because the applicant didn't show up. Oh, you didn't? Okay. So mm -hmm. August 22nd at 7 o'clock. Okay. How many people do you expect to be for something like that? I think, I think just the applicant yeah, usually. Like the applicant. <laughs> yeah, you and the other. I live across the street from it, so yeah. it's the first time I've ever been here. Oh, okay. So sometimes a lot of neighbors show up for something like this, and yeah. sometimes no one shows up right. except the applicant. But usually the applicant shows up. My only complaint is the guys pull out of there and they hit my mailbox. That's about it. Um, <laughs> okay. All right. Well. We're okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mind. Yeah. We'll keep that in mind. As they occupy a single family home somehow attached to a restaurant. You notice right. that? The whole the the other the next minute there's two cars there every home. day. It's like that's not a single family home attached to a restaurant, by the way. That's a restaurant with no residential attached to it. There is no mixed use in this town except in the center. No, that used to be what a uh, pizza place. Or a oh, it's been a thousand things. Place. No, the other one, the, the small little White House. No, they used to for a drive-through for about yeah, ten was minutes. about ten minutes. Those, <laughs> right, it was it was pizza place. The only time we allowed night. people to live in there was when the owner, yeah, had a the principal residence fire. burnt down, yeah. and we said we'll give you a temporary ability to stay in the house while you get your life together. However. This man has no right to a single family home on that lot. Consequently, get the hell out of it. How's that sound for the reporter? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, those are some of the things I was saying that don't necessarily need to go into the minutes. <laughs> well, but it'll be on tape. Don't worry about it. Put it in there if you wish. Uh, yeah. Well, I do recall that they had no problem with that. That's where the employees were going to be parking, so I don't know where they were parking there. All right, so we have an informal site plan at 745, and so much for getting out early. I thought we were going to. Question where? Are they coming in? Who? Oh, a couple of them. Just Would anybody else like to go? No, thanks. Wow, we're going to kill a lot of time here, huh? We've got an informal site plan. We've got a 7th, then it's 745. There you go. Get on the line. Come on in. Come on in. Great. No, you're here. You're up, Rock. actually. <laughs> it's your turn. Are you by yourself? Yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah. We're, we're, are this a meeting now? You're right. You're right. Oh, all right. Beautiful. Jeez. Our 7 o'clock at the show. Yeah, a cancellation. We're glad you're early. Put you on the express. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, what the hell did I have? I had a property that's down there on Manakeset Street, right by, right by, um, there's a Sylvester Lumber and the boat yard place there. Yeah. Mm. And uh, I assume it, well, it's been on the market, I guess, for quite a while. We probably had to go through here four or five times. 
And I was just, uh, I thought, I just wanted to know what would be acceptable there, because I assume they tried everything in houses and, and uh, which law is it? Deal, huh? Which law is it? It's, yeah. uh, it's, I believe it's 160. That's that five acres? Yeah, place here, then they, they get the small house on there. You're talking about the five acres? Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. one is it? Is that right by Wintergreen? Is it Wintergreen? Yeah, Wintergreen Street runs right up there. Oh, is there a lawn like this? Yeah, 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 a big lawn. It's a big lawn, yeah. yeah. What's the frontage on the way? 86 feet, I believe. Oh, you got a problem. Yeah. I know it. I think everybody's had a problem. My thought was, all right, there's one house there. I was, what I was thinking of doing is put another house on it and maybe have a retail out front. But that's like you a... You don't get the frontage. I understand. I, th th so if you're going to do retail, you're going to have okay. to have like 225 feet. Right? No, it's 50. over 150 or something. It's 150 residents. That's in a business no, it's, 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 well, it's outside the uh, outside the center protection district. Yeah. So I didn't know what's allowable here with that 60. I mean, that 86 feet, even even a house allowed or something like that's what quite 150, 150 or something. 150. Yeah. So I didn't know if there's any well, use for this land or not. Well, you're right about one thing. It's been presented before. Oh yeah. I'm sure. It be, I, I know it's been up for sale at least eight, ten years or something like that. Pretty close to it. Well, originally, I think there was a there was interest when Wintergreen was going in to purchase that property from whoever owned it at the time. Yeah, and um, that was prior to me even being on the board when that first mm -hmm. portion of that went in, mm -hmm. and um, they resisted the selling it because they could have they could have picked up that property and probably incorporated it I mm -hmm. at the time. Into Wintergreen. Yeah, in the first phase of that. Mm -hmm. And they decided it was too expensive? Well, no, whoever owned it didn't want it, want it too much. Or there was, you know, you know how it goes when you think you get gold. Yeah, it goes on a hold up at a top dollar. Right. <laughs> yeah. um. but I just didn't see, I mean, it's, it's, it's still for sale, and uh, I, just, I didn't know what the hell you could actually put in there, to tell the truth. And uh, from what I understand, I guess they wanted hot stables there, they wanted greenhouses there, they wanted flower shops, they, Houses, all that um, stuff. So I assume there's not too many things left to do, but you probably could have greenhouses there. That's about the only thing you could probably have. Yeah, but you, yeah, but you still have to have the <coughs> farm You wouldn't be able to have any structures or buildings. Or a retail sales. Right. No, you couldn't do that, but you could grow stuff there. <laughs> well, there's one other thing. Land. There's one other thing you could do. Solar metal farm. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's so, it. Solar farm. Oh, solar farm. Or a regular farm. Yeah, solar farm. That's about it. Or a regular farm. Who owns, who owns really? that piece? Who owns that piece right there? The, 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 next door. The little triangle. Oh, I, I forget her name, but I asked her. She's not selling. She's not. No. It's a single family uh, home right next to it, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. Both sides. I believe that was built by Habitat, Habitat for Humanity. Habitat for Humanity. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Was that the one on the right side? Yeah, which could have actually put that all that property together. No, and we had a, on the other side. So there's a little yeah, room right here, and then there's this triangle here. Those skinny well, there's two houses on either side of that lot. Right. There's there's one is a house that's at the opening where <coughs> that back commercial space goes, where you have some commercial operation. That's Sergio. Yeah, Sergio. Yeah, still yeah, alive? That, yeah, that was Sergio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, this piece here you're talking about? Yeah, cool. yeah either way, it's, it's uh, composed by other other uh, residential had, properties. If we had pork chop lots, it would be perfect, but we don't. Yeah, that's the only thing that goes there. You know, you don't do the pork We don't do them. No, we pull do them out along. <coughs> yeah. yeah, even then, it's probably not that much you're going to do in there. But a house, even on a pork chop. Right. In five acres? Yeah. You put one five one. acres, you can put cut quite a few. Well, about a whole lot. Lot. No. Well, you, we don't we don't yeah. allow it. No, I understand. One, so it's just uh, our pork chop yeah. lot was forty feet of road frontage. But we right? had and two and a half acres. Remember, in size. we had pork chop yeah. lots around in this area where some people think they have subdivisions. Can't do it, tell you what the building inspector issues a building permit for. and do whatever the hell he right. wants. Well, you know the objections of this board, right? We'd have to take them to court to turn that decision around. Yeah, that's the that's lots. Uh, that's Do you know who owns that property? The boats. 
Yeah, that's that's all. Yeah, boats. that's all boats there. Because I was saying, you know, you try to pull those two properties together. And that's yeah. That's you're not going to do that. You're going to that. You got enough problems, right? You got enough problems in that piece of property right now with, with violations of. No, no. What are you talking about? Is putting that. You're talking about this. She's talking about, yeah, she, yeah, she's talking about adding it to this one, which is the, oh, I see. Which is which is the one we have problems. Well, you got with you got buildings here. There's, he's got, got buildings around. Yeah, there's a bunch of buildings there. Oh, and, a cell, and a cell and a cell tower. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got buildings over here. He's got a cell. He's got a cell tower back here. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
No, but that's why you buy a house on on the north green green, side. Take yeah. the house down. Take the house green. down. Yeah. Those are nice houses. Though. I'll pick it up and spin it. Yeah. Well, if it's worth a half a million, road. half a million dollars to buy the house lot, and then right. you get the other property for nothing, maybe you make it work. Yeah. All right. So if we jump back to the appointing a representative of the long-term revenue growth subcommittee. Okay. What about what are you asking for here? Revenue growth. They're coming in at eight. Oh, okay. They're coming in. Okay. So this long-term revenue growth subcommittee. This is a subcommittee of which board? Subcommittee of the Board of Selectmen? Yeah. So we have double our fees. Okay. We're going to generate a. No, I think this is about revenue growth, meaning looking at other economic development in town. Yeah. Are they talking about maybe change, I don't, I don't change so, our zoning? Or? Talk, they're talking about they're talking about from the other departments, too, about a three year plan. Five no, year no, plan. no. But that's different from this long term, long -term revenue growth subcommittee because. We ran into um, Patrick but, the other night. But isn't there only revenue taxation, and that's based on what zones we have in our town? So the other way we could actually roll this is the this. email I got. Representative from the finance no, offices, no, right, board selectmen, and school committee will come together to form a subcommittee devoted to long-term road and growth. They have asked that a representative of the planning board join us for this subcommittee. So they'd like to appoint us to vote to appoint a representative to the subcommittee tonight. So, all right. So, do you want this rule? I do not. Uh, do you want it? I mean, I'd be interested in if nobody wants to do it. I think it sounds interesting. If you want to do it, do it. Who's doing old colony planning? I'm the You're ultimate. Doing, yeah. Do you want to do it though? To what? The revenue growth. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We'd rather appoint somebody who wants this job. Right. And I, I would be interested. All right, so would someone like to curious. make a motion? I'll make a motion that we appoint uh, Becky Coletta to the role of uh, planning board representative to the long-term revenue growth subcommittee. Second. So they're not coming in, are they? Are they? All in favor. Are they taking, I, taking uh, it? Aye. 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 I said, are they actually coming in, or was it just was that the end of it? I mean, I'm just looking at how we've collapsed this meeting time. Who? Wait, question? Question? Well, no, they, they actually coming in, or we just? I didn't even know if we needed to well, see them. Maybe we get a call. Can we get a call into them and see if they can show up? This Owen Kelly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we've yeah. Got, uh, let's see. Do yeah. we have an actual plan of it yet? And the answer is no. Do we have an answer? We don't, we don't have, have an ask built for the equestrian way. How are we going to talk about proposed we, road acceptance? We can't. Well, I, I mentioned to Matt the other day to contact the developer, or whoever this representative of the developer was, because you would sought some opinion about whether they should come in or not. Well, right, right. Okay. We, we also have a so, deadline, too. Right. We have to have the it's ask August built in by about now. Yes, yeah, the exact date. To hit fall 10th. I think it's August 12th. Yeah. So we have to grant an extension. No, no, no. They have to go. Out, they have to come back next year. Right. We need. It. We, we we discovered. Are oh, you saying for road acceptance right. because it's right. not hit our August right. deadline? Correct. Right. Because they, you know, the week before town town phone meeting, times, how many times they would be putting out there? Down and, you know, the yeah, the the yeah, but they're pretty well along on that stuff there. I mean, they're pretty pretty done on yeah. everything. The only thing we're waiting for is the asbuilt. But most of the work that they've done. Is all done. I mean, the right. trees are in. Everything's Everything in. Everything's is all everything's good. buttoned up. Except cleaning up the the front of it. That drives me crazy every time. Well, that would be one item that we want to we want to be out. contingent. But the other issue, though, is that 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 um, easement that bothers me a little bit about. Which easement? There's an easement um, go going on? into the back property that. Um, yeah. Pheasant? To go to a pheasant land. Pheasant land. Into the Great But the easement is in such a place where there's no curb cut for it. And the the landowner behind it has made clear her intentions to actually open up that easement now and start using it to get in and out of her property. Where is it though? So right now, if I go so down the last the house, house. Well, yeah. go down so the very pheasant. end. Go down pheasant, you make a left in there, right? But to, why would to the subdivision. I go in that way because you can go in straight, she, right? They were granted an easement when the subdivision was approved. Right. And that easement's well, there. She's playing because, well. because she, yeah, well, that may be the case. I can explain why it's an easement there. Okay. To recall, we have a thousand 
foot dead end street restriction, right? So the plan is if you use the easement and turn it back into Pheasant Lane, you don't have a dead end road. You just have a big loop. loop. So, um, the, about our, uh, Melissa Deloche, who's been well known in town, um, is, um, had uh, sought this easement at the end of this way. Board granted it. The hope is, is that she'll get rid of her pig farm, ostrich farm, Emus. Kangaroo Farm, <laughs> Emu Farm, whatever she's calling it recently farm, and that she would be able to loop and come back out onto Pheasant Lane and there would be house lots, house lots granted around the way. Oh, so so the it's a money maker. So the <laughs> expectation was at some point that if you look at Correct. Pheasant going into a now, pedestrian... Here's one thing we can't do. How do you over some okay. property if it's an easement? But what I don't understand... So, so that well, makes sense to me, right? For the purpose of getting access into the back of a lot for right. future so, use, not for a road. No, so, no. Ryan, she for could, she can for come out here, or she can come out the existing entrance exit. What I, so, what I don't understand is if she has a permanent easement granted, why would she start to use it now? First off, does she actually? And furthermore, even if she wanted it, even though there's an easement in the ground, whose cost is that? Hers. Usually. Yeah, so Paul's saying, or well, somebody said, yeah, you know, it's blocked off, there's no, oh, maybe he said, no there's no sh signs of it in the way. Well, who builds that? Well, so first, have to, well, first off, there's right. not one there well, that says, well, in fact, well, 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 with your well, opinion, well, then she'd have to she to has to go build it. She yeah. has to go build it if it's accepted. No, she did a permit for BPW. To yeah, but if it's accepted, we, 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 we'd so have, we have didn't to impose the cost upon him. Oh, this developer. But we accepted that DPW right. has to do it, so let's it accept it. Who owns the easement? <laughs> the easement was given by the developer to the owner. Was given. The easement. Was who given. owns the property that the easement is His on? Right. The homeowner at the, the end. Homeowner. Homeowner at the end. The so if you want to put a road across my property, yeah. you're going to buy it. Yes, yes. That's, right. my, that's my point. Right. There's only an easement that can't be a road. Right. 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 It was all, it's not and if you don't come to an agreement, you don't have a deal. You got it. Right. It's not really. We knew we were blocking the rain. I, I would love that Sorry, easement. Yeah. I would love that easement. <laughs> well, there was, well, there was also the other reason that the other reason that went in is we also we also gained property for this. open space. Yeah, I know. I, I understand that. That I understood. Right. But and it was upland. People can walk across that, but you can't if you're going to put a road in. Well, she has no curb cut. Right. It wasn't. It wasn't like it was designed for a road for it's access. Man, it's a matter that's unresolved. What is the gentleman's name who this keeps coming in? Uh, Owen. Owen. Do we Owen. have a phone number for him? Do so we have Owen. a phone number for Owen? Yeah, you should have a number for him. Uh, we have Tracy to? gave it to me. I'm not sure if I still have that. Uh, yeah. But I wouldn't be. I wouldn't rush to accept the road. Well, the only thing is, first off, is that the as builds have to be in hand, number one, to start with. To start with. Um, the road, you know, the idea is, is that you're going to end up being able to go out there and walk very quickly to look at this. If it's not complete, it's not complete. There is issues on the front. Matthew, you might want to try in the in the folder to see if there's a folder well, for a question and look at it. But I don't want to, I don't want to keep no, extending it. And then all of a sudden, we, in September sometime, looking at this thing is no, being finished. If they hadn't made the, that's a deadline, just to go, oh, guys, you didn't make the, the deadline. So you had to break the deadline. What are we talking about? They're talking about... Acceptance. Uh, uh, acceptance. No, no, no. We're talking about them picking up the dime on snow plow. Exactly. Okay? Right. Until now, until next April. So, sorry, if you don't show up, you didn't hit the deadline, that's the way it goes. That's but they, for all we know, they're bringing in the asphalt tonight. Right. Well, they could be. But there is further um, improvements um, or, uh, you know, uh, we should send out our engineer. Yeah, the they, 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 they have to have the plan. Usually so. what happens is the asphalt goes to Merrill. They, right. they review yeah. the asphalt, review the project, compare the report to us. And I was that. down there a week ago. There's, there's a lot of little stuff that we still done. You know, at the top of the road where Becky just pointed out, 
um, all those cobble, all that uh, vertical surfing. There's no, there's no backfill and there's no joint uh, compounding, if you will, in terms of the concrete that goes between the sections. All of that is detail work, but nevertheless, it's nothing done. You got some spaces in between the vertical. First off, and grabbing that, yeah. I like this. Right. You it's know, right. so it's it's just put up against each yeah, other. Exactly. As as yeah, you go up and look at it, you're going to see what I saw. So as soon as the ASBO oh, comes in, then then the board asks our engineer and DPW to go look at it. Yeah. But if it's not here, yeah. Why is the we're in rush to, to the room for us? No. No. What's that? Was it August 12th? All you're doing is saying it's August 16th. It's in the right time. Yeah, we're in the issue. It's in the middle of We're not going to meet again, obviously, until at least August 20th. So they don't have it in here tonight. Yeah. I mean, we know we're going to run down the road. It's going to cost her. I think we had to have the opportunity to walk it before mid August. We see if it's going to be a little bit yeah, it's fire catch basins, all that. Pool. We used to have to go out there. Yeah, it was more, yeah. I, I think it was more like grass and trees and stuff, so we could yeah. see that it made it through winter. And right. here we are. Well, one thing's for sure. Well, once we bring it up for acceptance, if it isn't up to our With the full pool. conditions, why would we want to approve it? If there were, well, know, the only thing, the only no incentive. Right. But the only, right. the only, the only no, no compelling reason for us to have to accept something that we don't think yeah, it's right. 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 But also, as a taxpayer, I don't want to take and put something on the warrant that costs us to print, costs us to go up and then defend that we've taken it off. So then we have to take it off. If yeah. we, Weiss, Weiss, if it's not worth, they not have the time to get it to us right away. But there's that's still, well, you got to get it to us in time. Right. Yeah. Understood. But they're also scheduled to be here at eight o'clock. We give it the opportunity. No, to they never come through. We'll just plan ahead. However, given that it's not eight o'clock, can we go back to subject? Sure. Yes. Now we've got a representative to the uh, oh, long-term yeah. revenue growth subcommittee. Maybe yeah. we can have some talking points for our representative. What I think they're looking for. Okay, tell me. in the areas of growth in the tax base. It's a fundamental part. There's not another department on here, you know, that raises revenues, really, except for maybe the assessors you know, through the use of uh, assessment and taxation. The key point this board plays is what are we looking at as developable? Um, we approved doggy daycare, we've approved uh, the mental health condition place. We're looking at five buildings on Oak Street that want to go up. We have several acres of land up in that area that is certainly developable. I mean, we could raise potentially, if that whole thing we developed out, half a million a year. That's revenue they're not even counting yet. I was watching one of the rep meetings a few weeks ago. They're all up and they want to sell ball signs in the ballpark. I said, "Come on, guys, think bigger. Come on, well, we got to think town wide. Yeah, you got to make how many signs you sell in the baseball field. Well, sometimes Do we have enough room up there for a small hotel. Yeah, oh, yeah. Do you think there's yeah. enough room there behind Stop and Shop? For two. Oh yeah. I mean, pick out the. Uh, you got to think too. Not only what's in the ground, but what is it redevelopable as? What's right. already cheap enough that it could be redeveloped? Listen, some of those guys. Yeah. Look, those look the guy comes down. in here a year ago or so from uh, the, ten, the, ball the, tennis the landscaping place too. And not only yeah. the ball court place, right? Yeah. What can I do on my lot? You know, what a lack of imagination when you right. think about it. Solve my problem. I can't think. <laughs> <laughs> You know, look at it in any given day, in any city area you go. Something's here for 20, 30, 40 years, and the next day it's gone and something comes out big. Yeah, yeah. You could take take a look at New York City. Yeah. Okay? When you can't think wide, think tall. You are right, though. Where is the nearest hotel? It's never right. 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 Back in the original master plan, we even made provisions to put a hotel. Yes, we did. We yeah. increased the uh, height. We brought in the words four, hotel, four and we brought in the four stories, and we did 15 years ago almost. Right. Right. So my point for long-term revenue growth is new growth. 
What about, you know, this is just a question, what about, um, I know we, we have application developers when they apply, they're paying basically engineering fees. Do we, do we charge just a flat application fee? Yeah, there's a yeah, fee. that's the twenty five hundred or whatever we decide if it's a small yeah, thousand dollars or uh, whatever that goes in the general fund. Yeah, but I mean that's that's I think to, to that's Ryan's not, point, that's nibbling at the edges with fees. Right, right. But I'm just saying, you know, do we do we kind of stop doing the you know well, we oh, it's to, Joe also, Smith, it's like two fifty. Yeah, but we know. also want to encourage that growth and we want to encourage some development that's gonna to add to the tax base. Right. right. Rather than hit them with all fees. Right. I've never seen this way of a fee though when you get a RK yeah. centers for right. Right. comes before us and says, no. Oh, we're poor little guys. Can we get half yeah. the cost? No. Yeah. So yeah, no, multi billion dollar company. Yeah, but no, usually they're in here with your some of the easier people to work with because they understand how, how yeah. zoning works, they understand we, we development. But like three hundred center street, we didn't try to stand in their way with a large upfront fee. Well, we because it's already it's, it's already, already built. It's already built. We were just looking for right. methods. Right. So they paid but five hundred dollars was the fee, and then the fifteen hundred was the but if you, But I think if 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 we go back to the master plan and we go back to thinking about where development should happen, that Route Three uh, exit there is a perfect place to yeah. attract something Huge. that would add to the tax base significantly. Right. So you know, I think part of it may be. You know, we don't have a, a, a Pembroke economic development, yeah. you know, yeah. spokesperson or, or director who could go out and do that. That may be a role that we could find for someone who's already, you know, an elected position or doing something related, you know, to planning. Right. So that that's a role that we may want to look at trying to beef up a little bit to actually go out and court some of these larger yeah. companies who may be interested in coming to Pembroke. Um, if you remember, Pembroke Woods was going to expand big. That that land is still there, right? But that's and that's and that's a perfect place for a hotel, by the way. Um, the other the other thing is for some, with that corporate park. The nice thing about a, 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 the prospects for a hotel there is business travelers. Yeah. You you've got companies that do international business. Protect a Wire is right not too far away from there, and they do a huge business overseas industrial in, in Asia they've got people from Asia coming to Pembroke all the time so there's there's definitely a over a, Marshall, this industrial that whole up where WAT yeah, is yeah, there's a ton yeah, of stuff exactly in there. there. there's a lot yeah. of good good businesses that are international businesses um, who would benefit from a hotel being close by easy access to Logan Airport when you think about it down Route 3 um, we've got a, a we've got a great space to attract something like that. I you, always wonder if it makes sense. You haven't driven on Route 3 lately, have you? <laughs> Does it make sense for us also to even reach out? So the guy who was in here with Corporate Park, mm -hmm. used to be his dad and now it's him, um, who came in asking to clear land yeah. to yeah. make it easier for people to envision what can happen on that land behind yeah. Stop and Shop. Yeah. So worth reaching out to someone like that and saying, hey, how are you doing? Yeah, absolutely. What can yeah. the town do? What, Absolutely. You know what? What? There, there, there's, there's nothing that says we Mr. can't Murphy. take a, we can't take a proactive Who is it? approach to the Brian Murphy. Who was Brian? Now it's not. Right. It's not Bill anymore. Brian Murphy. Says <coughs> name. I can't remember. What about, what about the? Um, I know that it's a small chunk of land, but what about the? Uh, you know the raised ranch that was the septic place. Yeah. Yeah. That's a small piece. That's a small. I think. I think Tomasi bought that. You think mm -hmm. he did? I think so. I think there's people. Who did? I think Tomasi. Tomasi. No, I'm just wondering how oh, to get that Tomasi. developed. And, I thought you were saying well, if, if, You know, the kids' site is ideal for a couple of things. The car dealership. Car dealership. <laughs> yeah. Number one. I mean, with, car with dealers today love. The visibility on Route 3. Exactly. Yeah. You know, put Mercedes Benz up there, et cetera, and boom, yeah, you got thousands of cars going by. And they're more than willing to get off the highway and go to your Perfect place. Perfect spot is across from Doggy Day to, yeah. And then take yeah. that land that goes right down to that. Where they have the moving <coughs> company, yeah. yeah. That moving company is a lot of wasted Huge. property right there. Huge. Yeah. All right. And you could put a hotel with a conference with conference uh, rooms yeah. right in that. Right. There's five lots. Conference in that center. Sure. Conference center right yeah. there. How much land does RKO on the backside by the uh, 99? 
You mean where they no, just... they, no, they only have enough for a building. Yeah, there's yeah. not much there. It's, it's small right up against Route 3. Right, I see what they want, what they've cleared, but that's all they own? That's it. Yeah, okay. I'm not even sure. That's it. I think they're going to have to borrow some of the parking lot for Lowe's to do that, right? right? No. No, they own that road. No, I know, but so they're, they're they do They'll change all the parking. Yeah. They'll probably pull that parking right all down, the way out. all the way up. And not use it as a road anymore. Correct. Right. Yeah, just so from a from a perspective of the, the most desirable, I think that, that area there is the most desirable. And then we should think about some other parts of town where we've thought about zoning for memory care or for assisted living. Down to sand ba sandbaggers. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which, which lend themselves to that kind of development because they're a little bit off the beaten track and they're kind of bucolic. Um, uh, plus the concrete company got sold it. Yeah, we, um, but we they've got good we, access. We did, like propose, good access. Um, we did propose uh, yeah. uh, assisted living facilities for that area, but it was turned down at uh, uh, town was, meeting. Yeah, it's, it's so so we, if we have more of a justification for it? Well, maybe if yeah, you had a selection, I've got to a little bit. Well, I think that... Well, some, like, it, I think with the memory care, we had a real case in point, and that made that uh, easier. I, well, I think we're looking for more assisted living. Yeah, we're for the memory yeah. care is. is well, it, it doesn't matter how we well, I think too, once we once to we me, turn that was the corner, they're all the same. Yeah, they're all the same bag. Right. If you want to put memory care on, it, sounds right. good to right. me. If you want to put assisted living. Look at it from the living, perspective of the Welsh well, well, company with Alex and House. It's a bigger development potential. Yeah. What about 139? 139. I'm too many not not build sites on 139. Outside of where we were talking about up at the, how at the exit. the lot where the landscape supply that is behind uh, on Oak Street? Who uh, No, no, not Tomasi. On the other, on the other side, on the east side of one thir uh, Route Three, there's a landscape. Yeah, they're behind us. The oh, right behind there. the bagel place. Yeah. Uh, that goes know. back to the question that was raised here, though, about the non-residential frontage because yeah. of the naming of streets, for instance. Mm -hmm. That's a good example where the town has permitted a business to go in, but you'll never see Union Street as an allowed way. Yeah. But so, it, it and that happens areas. several times. We've got to go back in and revisit that bylaw because you start getting into the particulars. Um, you know, it's like a half a dozen streets in town named as adequate ways, and it's not the way it's occurred. It's not the way it's been built out. Well, and, and that it's a was false what defense. Um, Attorney Galvin was saying there have been a lot of variances on that. So the question is, at some point, if you give too many variances, you should change the rule. Yes. It shouldn't be a variance. Should That's not a reason for denial, either. But, the, well, the variance... <laughs> All right, well, we, don't anyway. to, well, we might not <laughs> want to go down this slippery slope. <laughs> anyway, what I was going to say is... Depends on how you use this. Place. As you guys are talking, it's occurring to me, I don't know about anybody else, that really what we're, what about we're talking it? about is master planning. Yeah, we well, yeah. are. Uh, we've been... But you know what? We've been here before. We, but the right, point to Tom's point is that, yeah, it's a very buildable site, that one that you're right. referring to. Right. The one behind the movie, old movie theaters That's in true. Sherwin, Williams, yeah. et cetera. It's like five, six, seven acres in that area. It's fully buildable. Um, you, you would have to literally take that section of the town, go lot by lot by lot, essentially, to do a true presentation for something like this it and say, a here's a buildable place. place, here's a buildable lot, here's a buildable lot. It's allowable. I'll tell That's you, right. they're looking for, if they can find $100,000 in the selectman's office this year of new revenue, they would be ecstatic. You would probably have it spent. You know, 10 years ago, <laughs> when we were going through the subdivision, we had members of Jerry Dempsey, you guys on the ZBA, astonished by the new growth rate we have of new growth being new revenue, not the population, right. but new revenue growth, which is on the assessor's department, you know, you got your existing assessed base, yeah. and then all of a sudden you've got new growth. Which is on top of your 2%. Right. Right. Correct. Right. So if the other night I'm listening to the selectors meeting or something, I don't pay much attention to those things. But nevertheless, you know, they're looking at, uh, Ooh, we have a pension liability of eight hundred thousand dollars. It's going to crush us. So it's going to hurt the party. That's, that's just whatever. I don't know what the real yeah, number is. Right. But my point is, million. well, if you got ten years to make up a million or two million or three, 
certainly yeah. helps you. You've got $200,000 of new revenue growth yeah. per year for five years. Oh. Come on in. You follow me, Tom? Yeah. Oh, I do. I so all you really do is walk and document that area up there and say, here's what could happen. And you're worried about either new taxes, a two and a half override, mm -hmm. or are you worried about new growth? Because new growth is not a two and a half override. New no. growth. Mm -hmm. he, his, his new growth. Right. Process okay. Right. New well, commercial growth is a little cheaper. Let's put it that way. Residences yeah. typically run more than the loss. benefit right. of, right. to the community. Right. The trees? Yeah. Well, it's all your fault. But, but I think part, right. part of yeah. what I think is, well, this is all the more reason to invest some amount of short-term money. Just talking about the plans. Yeah, so you can bring in the long-term money. I don't disagree with that, but we, we, we can't wait for another master plan to get started. Yeah, I don't know. Please. You mean in terms of getting some growth in quickly? Yes. And you're saying there's already plans on the books yeah. and bylaws on the books and money? Well, we, we may need to change some bylaws and or some zoning in a certain part of town. And we should look, but not the area we're tough. talking about. But it's not impossible to do. It's, no? no, but it's tough. It's tough. To I know, but it's not, it's not impossible to do, so it's something we should put on the table. And a lot of the uh, things that a new master plan would uncover are things that the for, last yeah. master plan already yes, uncovered. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so, I, you know, I think the idea is to really get started on it because we know where the areas are where we can attract that kind of revenue. Growth. I think you're going to start looking at 27. Yeah. Well, I'm thinking hotels because that brings in some local tax money. Also brings in other business. We all brings in room tax money, but it also brings in other business like restaurants. Three, 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 12, 14, 13 years ago, what have you. We brought them into the discussion, if you recall. The Murphys. Yep. What do you think they need? Type thing. You know, discussion. I mean, just, and I'll just kind of say something. I know we have a fellow here for our purposes. <coughs> we like to four stories from two and a half stories. So I hope, for instance, that would attract business. Right? And we were told that. It wasn't just a guess. And we said, well, you know, if you raise your building height level, <coughs> you know, you might attract a hotel, for instance. Well, you know, these types of steps going forward might be the types of things that we have to reconsider because, well, what if we said it's six stories, eight stories? How does a particular hotel In other words, learn where does that, that end? Well, that's it. I think we need to <laughs> yeah, yeah, for reach We got to bring in new ideas to keep trying maybe to get Maybe they're just assuming we have a two-story height restriction. They don't even know we've got a four-story height restriction. All right. right. Or, and would be willing to go to six in that area. So maybe I should have some coffee with you before we get started. Yeah. All right. So, uh, sir, we're... Are those as-built plans in your hands? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I just wanted to check in to see, you know, how you guys wanted to run the process. Yeah. This is our first as-built process in Pembroke. So, um, do you want us to distribute them to different boards, or I know Peter's going to get a coffee to review. You guys obviously need a coffee to review. Um, yeah. I mean, do we want to do a? a Site walk down there. Do you guys have well, questions? Yeah. Of course, we have Peter go look at it. Okay. Yeah. I think I think with DPW too. Yeah, what, what don't we typically have our planning board assistant distribute the plan? Yes. Okay. Yes. Is this many copies are supposed to that. be though? Right. How many copies are supposed I to be? I thought there was seven. Eight. Seven. Seven. Okay. Seven or eight. Seven or eight. So I have four here. I'll get you more, obviously. Yeah. Okay. Is that the whole subdivision? Yeah. One of the questions we were talking about was timing. Yeah. Um, because we're kind of running tight against the timing for fall. Yeah. Um, so we need the asphalt plans in. No, he's, got, he's got them right now. No, 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 but I mean, we need more copies. To start yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll have them to you tomorrow. Oh. That's, that's, yeah. Yeah. Well, basically, you know. I just wanted Peter to has to approve everything, and everything has to be done by the 15th of this month. Correct. Yeah, and I talked to Peter. Um, I went over a little bit of the process with him. Um, but like I said, I just wanted to check in here. Um, and like I said, I don't mind pushing, you know, getting things out to different boards and stuff like that to make sure everybody has 
what they need. I think, I think the board may be thinking that, you know, we're looking for that stone wall area to be cleaned up and, and uh, some other stuff, I think. And but that's actually, that is on the books. The okay. We just didn't want to see it until it cooled down a little bit, so that way it didn't just, it didn't burn out right away. We, I mean, we can do it now and then, you know, write a letter saying we'll do it again, too, if that's more preferable to the board. Well, I, I, I would tell you right now is that, is that right now, yep. whether you think so or not, yep. is actually the, I think it's the first two weeks, of, uh, uh, first three weeks of August is actually the best time to seed. Perfect. All right, because you get high temperatures in, in the daytime, low temperatures at night, it allows the seed to snap open, number yep. one. But you're going to have to, you have to water it or hydro seed it. But the reality is, is that we normally want an established situation, so I would suggest you hydro seed as soon as possible. Sure. Because if it isn't up growing by the time we go to accept it, I'll be voting no. Well, we usually want to see it go through a winter too. Correct. But it's it's more for the tree. It's not well. It's not. They haven't established anything. They haven't established anything yet. But the point is, is that right now, even though it's hot and dry. And the idea is you go out and you maintain it a little bit to get it established, but this is actually the right time. Great. Uh, I would also point out, I inspected the property recently on the road away. Uh, all the uh, vertical granite curving up on the front, yep. particularly at the radius, all has to be filled, uh, you know, pointed. There's yeah, pointed. Needs to be pointed. And, uh, and again, just the... Uh, buttressing of the soils, et cetera, uh, at that radius. Everything else seems to be in pretty good shape. Okay. Um, but I would pay attention to those things. And at the cul-de-sac area, I think also you got to take a look at some uh, appoint, uh, uh, appointment in there in terms of your cement work, et cetera. Okay. I think there were areas in there that have been. In the cul-de-sac? Yeah. Okay. So I would say the radius at the top of the street and the cul-de-sac area at the bottom of the street uh, should get some attention. The other Otherwise, thing, I thought it was in pretty good yeah, shape. The other thing you got to realize is that, let's say with this does go on to the docket to be accepted, mm -hmm. all your catch basins have to be cleaned out. Yep. Your detention area has to be uh, cleaned out. Yep. To make, to make sure it's in functional. So, all right? so everything has to be like pristine before we're going to take and put it on the tax base. Yep. That's. I think that's what Peter was talking about, and this that's the step in the process here. We'll take all the comments right. and make sure that everything is met. Plus the DPW it's will kind of like inspect it too. Right. The final punch list. Right. Right. right, right. Excellent. All right. So you're gonna get us more copies. So I'm gonna get you you want eight copies then eight just copies. in case? Eight copies right. sounds terrific. Perfect. So I'll get you four more copies of this here. Do you want me to leave? You can leave that. Yeah, yeah leave those. Yeah. Okay, great. And then I'll leave. Bring four more. Great. All right, great. Thank you. Great. So, do you want me to do any distribution or he'll hand, Matthew will handle yeah, Matthew, it? Distribute, Matthew will distribute that. Okay, okay, great. Yeah. If you guys would like to do a site walk with me, he has my number. We'll make his so appointment. You're more yep, absolutely. Anytime. We want to get Peter's report first. Yeah. 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 So, we'll send. We'll get so Peter <coughs> and, the, and the DPW no. to give us. Actually, I'm going to take uh, one of these. So, Peter and the DPW look at it before we get to our site walk. Then we see what the issues are. Uh, and then we know, you know what to look for. Uh, do we know what's in the engineering account in this case? Uh, I can check the revolving. Yep. Uh, I know we updated it with Maryland last, after the big paving. Mm -hmm. So like in the springtime. And we haven't had anything for Peter since then, yeah. besides a couple small inspection reports. So it yeah. should be full. Should be something in or relatively full, yeah. Okay. Ample enough to cover narrow associates. Let's just make sure uh, that, uh, right, yes. make sure you understand one thing. Yeah, if we're short on your account yeah. now and the Merrill bill yeah. came in, Plus you'd been, be responsible for the payment. All right, good. So, yeah, we got about 4500 in there. All right, yeah, I guess some, you get sufficient funds. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm happy with where we are. Good, good. Thank right. you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Groundwater fence. Okay, great. Who? Yep. This is groundwater fence. Uh, and then how do I collect the comments? Do I come in a couple of weeks to another meeting here? Or we'll, we'll, we'll probably board. schedule it. Well, we'll yeah, schedule, we'll, meeting we'll schedule a meeting with you okay. at some point prior okay. to the town meeting, which won't take effect until 
like laid out right right so we would probably meet you roughly September. a month from now yeah okay that makes sense <clears throat> beginning of september <clears throat> i'm sure peter and i will talk to more than two if he has any big co yeah. he has any comments and everything's squared off and all the workmanship's been done and the, the things we just discussed I don't see any problem. Okay, really. we show the underground utilities. Let me just point out something real yeah. quick. One of our requirements is that all the underground utilities are shown oh. plus or minus a foot sure. horizontally and vertically. Yeah. There's none shown here. Sure. <laughs> Great. So yeah, these aren't really adverts. Huh? No. We've got to hide it. We've got no water line, no electric telephone. We need it all, all the way through. Have put horizontal it on. and vertical. We've got to do it all. Okay. So take those back. <laughs> take all of them back. Have these refilled. Can we look one just in case somebody sure. wants to look at something? Absolutely. <laughs> all right. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Good night. Good night.